Hey book nerds and welcome back to another episode of Books, Beverages, and Besties with your two favorite book nerds, Amy and Kelly. And today we're going to a book sale. We are. A giant book sale according yes. to their sign. According to the sign. It's huge. It says giant book sale. This is taking pieces of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you can't read it, you'll have to take our word for it. But yep, we are at Buckaholic in Wichita. It's one of their three locations here and they are all um, like a secondhand bookstore, like right. indies or whatever. Used bookstore. Used bookstore. So yeah, they just celebrated their birthday. I don't remember yeah. how many years it was, but their birthday just here within the last couple months. Neither. Yeah, I read it, but I don't remember either. I should know. I was there. You were there. <laughs> I was here. <laughs> um, but yeah, today they're doing a warehouse sale where um, it's fill a bag and however many books you can fit in a bag it's ten dollars for the whole bag from what I read if I remember correctly so yes. um oh she walking out with a nice big bag she's walking out with a bag we oh. did question if we had to bring our own bags yes and it does appear like we do not have to we do not have to and they are good sized bags yeah and holy moly she, she got a is, lot of she is stretching it too dude that's gonna be us though hopefully <laughs> I hope I can find a lot of good books I hope so too yeah, yeah. so Anyway, we're going to get in before all of the good books are taken because yes. they all were also doing the sale yesterday. Yesterday. So hopefully they still have a lot of good Ooh, goodies shelves left. shelves still look pretty full, so. Yeah, so anyway, we will see you guys in there I, with the okay. finger guns. <laughs> the finger <laughs> guns. <laughs> <laughs> was an experience yes yes it was I Ooh. found zero books for me um, but I did find a whole bunch for Bobo so that's good that is good I found three I think I ended up with three mm -hmm. well okay so <laughs> from the warehouse <laughs> from the warehouse sale once we got out in the regular area <laughs> the bookstore there was plenty more to be yeah, had you can kind of see for right there. there yeah the stack the stack is is mine so um you want to haul them now yeah why not okay so here it is this this stack here so the the three that i got on the sale um the first one is if you watched our video from last february where we read the three romance books, our, what our menage a trois. <laughs> we had read a classic, like an 80s, 70s, 80s era bodice ripper and a contemporary fantasy, or fantasy, romance. <laughs> and 
the 80s one was terrible. We hated so it. So bad. So bad. Um, but I remember saying at the time that she had written, this author, Jude Devereaux, had written a book that I remember so well. It's like a little time travel story. And, well, I found it. <laughs> So A Knight in Shining Armor by Jude Devereaux, it's, I, all I really remember is like this woman goes back in time and falls in love with this guy and stuff happens. So that's really all I remember about it and I'm almost afraid to read it, but yet, uh, we'll see. Because I remember it so fondly, but that last book was so bad, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway. um. Another one that I got was Margaret Atwood's Alias Grace. And so these two I have already read, um, but I just want them for my shelf, so they're not gonna be added to my to my TBR shelf. Oh, by the way, I think there's a, there's a series on either Netflix or Hulu, a short, like limited, several part movie series kind of thing. It's really good based on that. Um, and then I got The Red Tent by Anita Diamant. Diamant. I just heard of this. I've, it's about, it's the biblical character of Dinah. Um, I think, I, I really don't know. I've just heard about it. I heard it's really good. I heard it's really good, like women's fiction kind of thing. So, I, I don't know. I just heard of it. So, and really, I actually recognized a book in the warehouse. Pickens were slim, people. Pickens were slim. Yeah, unless you were looking for a self help book oh or a Bible. Yes. <laughs> That's all that was back there. Yes, much. like any sort of nonfiction, Christian books, mm -hmm. um, self help books, cookbooks, like DIY books. That's like all oh, there was. So, yeah. Yeah, I recognized it, and it was something that I was interested in, so, yeah, that was, that was it. <laughs> that was there. So, okay, so then we went out into the, the regular place, and, well, so they had these, and there's a whole set of them, and they're really cool. So, this one is Weird Horror Short Stories. So you can see that blue? Isn't that a little spine? I have no idea. It's like imprinted in, it says gothic fantasy. So I'm like, oh, sign me up, that sounds cool. And then this one, which is Native American Myths and Tales, which I think sounding interesting. I always like indigenous people's folklore, pretty cool. So I got those two. And then I got this one, which is called Folklorn. And from what I can tell from the description, it is a book about a Korean woman who's kind of always tried to put distance between herself and her family and her past. And there's like this kind of paranormal folklore thing that happens and kind of brings her back home where she has to face generational trauma as well as family trauma and all kind of backed up with this folklore throughout it. So. I don't know, it sounded good. Never heard of it before. <laughs> um, and then I got Kristen Bertain's Winter Light, which is part of her Green Rider series. I think I might already have this. I'm not sure. But for five bucks, I thought, what the hell? Because it's hardback and it's a chunk of a book. So if only you had put all of your books into La Bib. <laughs> if only I had put all my books in. <laughs> if only I had yet to put all my books. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done that yet. No. Sure haven't, but then I would have known. But I may not have known if it was the paperback or if it, cause I, mm. I have, she takes an incredibly long time to write a book. I'm talking George R. R. Martin length of time to write a book. So when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, the next one's finally out. And then I was looking at it, I'm like, um, no, I think this is just the last one. I think. Anyway, anyway, regardless, I know I don't have a hardback, so. And again, for five bucks. And then the last one I got is Child of the Prophecy by Juliet. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I really don't know how. 
Mary, Mary, I know how to pronounce it, but I can't do it right now. Marillier, Marillier, I'll just let you look at it. She's the one that wrote the Seven Waters. This is part of the Seven Waters trilogy. The I think it's the last one. I have the first one. I don't have the second one, but hey, this was there. And again, like it was like three bucks, so what the hell. So that is what I got. So not a total failure at the bookstore today, but No, no. I was hoping it'd be better. I was hoping to fill a couple of ten dollar ten dollar bags but yeah that didn't happen no no nope. but you know what it is time to fill our tummies our tummies i'm so I'm hungry, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so don't know where we're gonna go to eat don't know what we're gonna eat but mm. we'll see you there when we figure it out yep Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for another episode of Triple B. Um, I'm not gonna say it was a super successful day of book shopping, but the no. food, the food was super oh, successful. Man, that was oh, good. My gosh, that was good. West Street Burgers. Yes, definitely go and check them out in Wichita, Kansas. Get a burger. Yeah, for sure. Or at the BLT. But the man. BLT was good. Mm -hmm. It was. The onion rings were amazing. The French fries. Homemade French fries. Oh my gosh. Really good stuff. It's food Dean Winchester yeah. would have approved of. Yeah. So that automatically but, makes me approve of it. Of course. Of course. But very limited seating inside. So, yeah. you know, maybe get it to go. Yeah. They do have a drive through <laughs> So you can yeah. do that. But yeah. Yeah. We got visitors. The kitties. Cats. The kitties. But anyway. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, go on down the below, go on down below the video, hit that little red subscribe button, and join the Everyday Adventure family so you can see our beautiful faces every Sunday with new book content. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, if you are wanting even more content from the Everyday Adventures, then go and join the channel memberships where you can get early access to all of the non-book related videos, as well as some extra channel member only videos yes. that you won't find anywhere else. So yes. go and do that. And if you want still more, you can go check out all the other videos <laughs> on Amy's channel because it's not just about the book stuff. So there is home decor, there is fashion, there is travel, <laughs> and all kinds of different things. And if that's still not enough, you can go check out her blog where there are articles some which go along with the videos on the channel and some which are completely independent like restaurant reviews and um, what you should watch on Netflix. So check all that out and be a part of the entire Everyday Adventurers family. Yeah, do yeah. it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. And I'm Amy. And I'm Kelly. And we are the, the Everyday, Everyday Epic. Epic. See y'all in the next one. Bye.